Whoa, man. I like the roulette very much. Okay, here's uh, Mephistopheles here, and uh, today we, you are going to see my uh, Pokemon Platinum Wi-Fi Battle 37... 37, I guess, yes. Uh, it is a roulette battle. I've never had a roulette battle before, and I didn't know how to play roulette battle, but um, now I know how to play the roulette battle, and I liked it very much, and that was an awesome, epic battle. That was so epic, and um, I liked the roulette very much. Uh, and my opponent is uh, Dragon uh, TT. Yes, and um, yeah, I actually... Uh, got not very good team in roulette I guess but oh well uh, they were uh, very strong and that was an, an epic match and you'll see I like the roulette and if someone want to battle me in roulette please uh, I I'll accept every challenge in roulette but um, now I don't know when I'm going to get Wi-Fi uh, in, in um, there would be a little lag in the videos and in the battles because I don't know when I'm uh, getting Wi-Fi uh, so um, just okay I'll message uh, I'll message anyone who wants to battle me in roulette or NU I actually like NU too and I can battle you you but uh, actually I don't like OU I don't know why and I'm working for an uber team maybe I can make some uber battles uh, Okay, so enjoy the video and Roulette is awesome and Dragon TT you're awesome also. As I said, this is uh, a Roulette battle with uh, Dragon TT. He's from Pokeladder and he has got a YouTube account too, so I'll, I'll leave a link in the description to his channel. So, okay, he leads off with a Scissor and I lead off with my uh, Scarf Hitran. And he switches fearing the Fire Blast and I should have predicted that and went for Earth Power. I wanted to go for Earth Power but for some reason I didn't. And so he switches into his Macargo to take the Fire Blast. And I have to switch and I switch into my Omaster for some reason I don't know because I'm a retarded idiot. I don't know why I'm a freaking bastard. And the Earth Power did a lot but it actually doesn't kill. And I know that my Omastar is is faster, of course, than this uh, piece of uh, purple crap. And he switches into his scissor as I go for a surf. I wanted to set up the rocks, but then I think I, I should have went for surf. So yeah, I go for surf, and now I'm staying in because I'm thinking he would overpredict and go for pursuit. So I think it's a bandit one. But he goes for bullet punch, and bullet punch kills me. And I see the life orb, and I think, crap, this is not good. So now I go into my heat ran and predicting a switch I go for earth power and knowing that uh, earth power is going to kill scissor anyway. And he stays in and the scissor is dead. Now he goes into his Gliscor. And I'm thinking crap this thing is going to rape my team completely. Cause my team is weak to earth uh, to ground. He goes for swords dance and I think man it is going to be a sweep. So I go for Earthquake, oh sorry, for Shadow Sneak to get some damage, but it did it did nothing, I guess. And he goes for Earthquake, and uh, obviously is going it is going to kill my mock because it it isn't defense, it's a curse mock one. Now I switch to my hit rant to get as much damage as I can with explosion. And I know that is, uh, I understand that it's a physical sweeper with, with swords dance. It means that it's not a bulky one and I kill it up with an explosion so um, the most fe fearful Pokemon is down. Now I go into my Scarf C Viper and he goes into his Cricketune and I know that this Cricketune can do a whole lot to my C Viper and I'm sure that Poison Jab is a 2 hit KO so I go for the Poison Jab he, and I get the, the Poison Hex and um, uh, he goes for sword stance. He was thinking I'm not not scarfed. He was thinking it was a speed tie, but it isn't. My swiper is a uh, is a choice scarf. So now I finish off his cricket tune, which is very good, I guess. He goes into his aerodactyl, and I don't want to take an earthquake, so I switch to my hitman top to get the intimidate off, and I'm hope that earthquake is a three hit KO. And he goes for the earthquake. And 
it, it it's actually it actually is a three hit KO, so it's awesome for me. And now he goes to another earth earthquake, and it it's it's not going to kill me, obviously. Um, and now I go for close combat, and I'm hoping I can do a lot, so I'm able to finish it off with a sucker punch. And I actually do a lot. He barely survives, which is. I guess it doesn't matter, just uh, a one turn of uh, leftovers recovery. So I go into Sucker Punch and finish off this Aerodactyl, which is awesome, because uh, you know Aerodactyls are always annoying as, as fucking crap. Now uh, he goes into his Gengar, and I go for Sucker Punch, because I need damage on this thing, and maybe I can kill, I was sure I can kill, but this thing carries Focus Sash, and I think maybe it's a lead counter one, I don't know. Uh, and he shadow balls me and after the special defense drop it's going obviously to kill me and he gets a crit i think it's a useless crit now i go into my taurus and i'm actually i was fearing the focus blast but i'm actually surprised that i outsped it because my taurus is banded and i kill it off maybe it's not max uh, speed and now he switched into his last McCargo, and I stay in and go for Pursuit, because I want to save switch into my uh, Sviper to kill it off with an Earthquake. And uh, I get um, uh, the Burn of Hex uh, on the fl Flame Body, and he gets a crit on the Overheat and finishes my Taurus. And now I'm just, uh, I have a safe switch into my Sviper and successfully kill it with a 4 times super effective Earthquake. So, good game Dragon TT, I like the roulette very much, that was an epic battle, and rate, comment, subscribe guys, see you all guys next time.